Hi, and welcome to Wet Rarick. Today, it's all about this reversible S-Video mod for the WIC 20. Our fellow Norwegian retro enthusiast, Jan Kjetelvik, sent me this uh, video mod that he developed. The big selling point is that this mod is 100% reversible. If you are like me, you hesitate when it comes to cutting traces on your motherboard on your favorite retro computer. With this mod, the only thing we have to do is to change the 8-pin DIN plug and add a resistor and a capacitor. Only drawback is that you lose composite out, but you gain S-Video out. You can find all you need to know on this GitHub page. You will also find the 3D files to print the holder and the Gerber files for the PCB. So let's uh, dive down and see how this works. The WIC20 already has a separate Chrome and Luma signal. We just need to tap into it before they are combined to be a composite signal. And by replacing the 5-pin DIN socket on the WIC20 with an 8-pin DIN socket, we can use the same cable as the Commodore 64 and we get a tidy and compatible solution. So these are the steps we need to follow. First we remove the motherboard and then we desolder the DIN plug. We remove the ferret bead marked the FB7. What this does is basically remove the chroma signal and the hole on the motherboard marked 4 will now basically be a Luma signal. We prepare the PCB by soldering the resistor, capacitor and the new DIN connector. We now solder the cables that will go to the new PCB. 2 is ground, 3 is audio, 4 is the Luma signal. And from FB7 we will get the chroma signal. If you don't have a ferret bead on FB7, just try to tap into the signal coming from pin 2 on the VIC chip as close to pin 2 as possible. As you can see, I'm using the punt cables that easily fit on the PCB. But you could of course solder the cables directly to the PCB on both ends. Now all we need to do is to screw the holder into place. And here we are. As you can see, the picture quality is much better than the old composite signal. And you can use the same cable for S-Video as you are using on your Commodore 64. This is not my project and Jan Kjetel uh, who made this project have no plans of selling this kit. Therefore I'm uh, talking with a couple of guys that has operative web pages for selling retro stuff. If I get one of them to sell this uh, from their store you will find a link in the description when this is done. But as for now, you will have to 3D print and order the PCB yourself. The other components are easy to find on places selling electronic components. As mentioned, you will find all you need on the GitHub site. Link is in the descriptions. Well, I hope you liked this uh, video. I hope you were entertained and I also hope you learned something new. If you like this video, you will probably also like my other videos, so remember to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.